Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about Provision Azure with Terraform. So let's get into the video. Okay, here we are. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a resource. So what is a resource? As just now mentioned, resource means the actual infrastructure that you're going to deploy on your provider. So let's say if it is a Microsoft Azure. On Microsoft Azure, what you will want to create? You want to create a storage account, a vault, okay, a virtual network, a resource group, a virtual machine, anything, anything. There are a lot of resources here. You can see all resources, and it's a big, big, big list. Okay, so we can create anything from here. There are a lot of resources you can see. So these all are resources. Now this will change provider to provider. Now you are seeing, uh, okay, I want to create a resource on AWS. So you know that on AWS, we use different terminologies like we use VPC for a virtual machine. On Microsoft Azure, we use virtual machine. Okay, for virtual networks on Microsoft Azure, it is named as VNet. For virtual net AWS, it is named as, I think VPC, sorry, my bad. For virtual machine, it is EC2 instance. Just uh, mistaken. EC2 for virtual machines, okay, and accordingly, like we have S3 for storage on AWS. Here we directly have storage accounts, okay. So the resources will change from provider to provider, but logic is same, okay. Any resource to any provider that you want to create will always start with the resource block, okay. They are always starting with the resource block, and then for that particular resource, the attributes will change accordingly. Okay, now question is, okay, there are a lot of resources for Azure, a lot of resources for AWS. How will I remember? You don't need to remember. Everything is on the documentation. Okay, so let's go to the registry.dialogform.io again. And let's go to the providers and go to Azure. Now you are saying, okay, okay, so I'm going to now start the resource block. Resource, cool. You can use tab to auto complete the syntaxes. Now question is it's asking me to put something I don't know. So let's go here and let's go to this documentation. When you go to this documentation, you will get a big list. These are all you see on the left hand side. There's a list of provide all the resources. Okay, so let's start from the very basic. On Microsoft Azure, the first resource that you create is called a resource group. Correct? We create a resource group. This is where we create all our resources. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create one resource group from Terraform. Okay, from Terraform, a resource group on Microsoft Azure. So for that, I need to go to this page and I need to search here that, okay, I want to create a resource group. So right here, the resource group. When you write resource group, you will see some results. Okay, you will see some results. You should see for the result which starts with the resources. Okay, there are many other results. Okay, I will talk about them later on. You should see for a resource. Now see the syntax. Very important. Okay. If I'm searching for Azure, it's starting with, so let me open my notepad and then tell you. So your syntax for any of the provider is very simple. First will be your resource provider name underscore your resource name. That's it. So for example, if it is if it is your resource provider is, for example, AWS, it will start as AWS underscore, for example, VPC. If it is Azure, it will be Azure RM underscore. For example, you're making a VM, so it can be virtual underscore machine. If that name is big, it contains two words. They will be always separated using underscores. Then you are saying if it is a Google, so maybe it's Google underscore virtual underscore machine. That's it. It's a simple syntax. Let's verify this here. You see, going to get resource group. So syntax is simple. Resource provider underscore resource group. Same way you are saying, okay, I want to create something on AWS documentation. For example, I want to create uh, EC2. I want to create one EC2. So if you see here, EC2 and resources, there are a lot of results for EC2. I want to simply create. Uh, and let's go for the resources. No problem. For example, from AWS, you see the syntax is how they are. AWS underscore resource name. AWS underscore same way 
you search it for Google, you will see the resources are classified as, for example, I want to create uh, anything. <clears throat> Let's say DNS. So you will see Google underscore DNS. So that's the simple syntax, okay? For any resource that you want to create, they will start with your resource name. You can always search directly with resource name here. And let's say this one. So it's starting with my provider name. Sorry, this one with my provider name followed by my resource. Okay, so this will be the name. Question is Akhil, how will I use it? Scroll down, you have example. Okay, now these examples are just for reference. They will not always fulfill your needs. Okay, they will only give you an idea that okay, this is the syntax how you can use the attributes might not be sufficient for you sometimes they will give you only the mandatory attributes sometimes they will not tell you the mandatory attributes so, so you might have to read the documentation and it will only be good enough if you know about that resource like for example if you are a microsoft guy you know that on microsoft when i create a resource group i mandatory have to give a name and location that's it so you will follow the syntax here so of course we expect that if you're a terraform administrator you ask your team so let's say akhil is asking to abdul that hey abdul you want me to create on microsoft what so abdul says i wanted to create a resource group okay what is the name and tell me the details of that abdul will give you and then accordingly you will see the documentation and fulfill the details okay so let's copy this no need to copy we know we just need to give name and location so we can go here see the syntax resource then in double quotes first my provider resource name followed by this another name what is this name i will tell you very short and then this one so let's complete this so i'm saying provider i'm going for azure rm underscore resource you can copy paste it completely okay no need to write it resource underscore group and then here let's say i'm saying that this is the name this my rg Okay, or let's say RG1. This was group one. We just know so what attributes it needs name. So name is equals to. So I'm giving it a name, for example, as Akhil RG. And then I am going to give it a location. And I'm saying location. Let's say I want to deploy this in East US. Okay. You can take location of your choice. You must know the valid locations of Microsoft Azure accordingly you can take okay so i'm saying i want to deploy this in east us that's it save now what is this name and what is this name i will tell you first let me show you the output then many questions will be automatically answered the moment i save this and now what is the next step you remember the flow first in it it is done next one is plan in it which is followed by plan which is followed by apply okay this is the flow followed by apply so now we will do plan so for plan we will simply say terraform plan and we know what plan will do plan will tell me that what are the proposed changes that you have to do in order to satisfy your requirement okay so for that the moment i hit enter let's see what is happening in the back end there is one problem feature blocks oops I have not given the features, so let's give features and let's leave it empty. Let's not define anything. Just keep it empty. Save. Now let's plan. Now you see on left hand also something is happening. You see two new files got generated. But let's see if this file is still persist or they will be removed. Let's wait. So what plan is doing plan is doing a dry run my desired state is i want a resource group with this name with this location so plan is going to test it will connect to my microsoft provider and check whether there is this resource group available with this name or not if not it will give me the changes required if yes it will tell me accordingly so let's wait and see perfect so you see it says that terraform will perform the following actions this azure underscore resource blah 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 will be created that means one to add 
it says boss you have to add one plan okay and this is the plan that you're going to add this plus in green color symbol indicates that this resource will be added now see very carefully everyone i wanted to understand one very important thing here there are two names one this and one this can anybody tell me which name will be used to deploy a resource group on terraform if i run terraform apply will it be rg1 or akhil rg now see you have to understand see i don't want you to rush things are very straightforward simple if you understand the basics you see see the detail here from here everything will be clear you see terraform says that hey akhil an azure rm resource group dot rg1 dot rg1 this rg1 has taken from here will be created and this resource will have this id which will be known after apply will be going to the location this and will be having this name so these are the attributes of this resource that means this akhil rg name will be used this rg1 is just a reference name before terraform it has nothing to do with microsoft terraform is only using this as a reference name okay locally in your laptop terraform is understanding everything with this name for terraform this is just an attribute this will be cross verified if you are deploying it on your provider if attributes is correct it's okay if it is wrong you will get an error terraform only knows this attribute okay that is the name rg1 okay dot rg1 now you see i will again tell you this again if you are still confused now let me do an apply i'm saying hey boss apply this now terraform apply now there are two things you can directly run terraform apply and hit enter in this case it will first again show you the plans and will ask confirmation from you like this so it will show you the plan and will ask you do you really want to apply these changes yes or no okay so see it says that the following actions will be performed one plan it do you really want to perform this action only yes will be accepted if you write anything else it will make it no so let's say i'm saying n so it will just cancel my apply see apply cancel this is one way otherwise if you don't want to interact you can also use hyphen auto hyphen approve hyphen auto hyphen approve but hyphen auto hyphen approve should be used only when you have already ran plan that means you know that changes are okay okay because this cannot be terminated in between here we had an option okay so now i am saying auto approve it will not prompt me for yes no will directly connect to the provider and will create a resource group so let's wait and see okay so here we are it says that creation is completed one resource added now you see on left hand side we have one more file what is tf state i will talk about this let's see on microsoft let's refresh this it might take few minutes also some time to update here it depends upon the network you see i got a rg and this is running in east west so this resource group was created from the terraform okay okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a virtual machine okay a complete virtual machine let me do one thing i'll create a new folder inside k21tf and i'll give the folder name as let's say windows vm windows vm okay and inside this windows vm i'm going to create my files so first file inside windows vm i'm going to create named as main.tf and inside the same i will create another file which is going to be named as provider.tf you can go with the same file you don't need to create another folder i'm just trying to keep the files separate that's it now first thing is since i have changed the directory i need to change my directory on console also right so i'll simply say cd and windows vm so now i'm inside the windows vm folder otherwise if i don't change it it will every time pick up my old configuration files so now i wanted to pick these files inside windows vm okay first thing first let's go to provider.tf and put our provider information let's copy paste our provider 
here we go done let's do an init inside this folder download fine meanwhile it's installing provider we can continue writing our code so let's go ahead so we want to create a virtual machine we don't know what to write let's go to the documentation and on the documentation page let's search here <laughs> windows virtual machine windows virtual machine and here it is the output azure rm windows virtual machine let's select this scroll down and this is an example provider already we have we don't take we will not copy this let's copy it from here and then we will do the changes after reading the code accordingly let's copy it till here control c and let's go here okay well that's a lengthy code 50 lines okay in general if i talk what role do you need to create a virtual machine on microsoft azure requirement is first requirement we need a resource group second requirement is uh, we need a virtual network third requirement is if you want a public ip so that you can access your windows machine then you need a public ip also okay fourth is you need a network interface card and fifth is your os details os image details correct anything else i'm missing what else do we need to create a virtual machine public ip is optional because this subnet and all will come inside vnet we can take subnet yes that's a good point subnet okay fine let's see what do we have in this example provider we have got okay first one is rg okay so let's change the name so that we can identify our rg name let's say it's the name of vmrg or let's say windows rg windows rg and location you can go with the same i will prefer to go with east us fast and cost effective okay so requirement is fulfilled rg is done so guys i hope you really liked our session if you are somebody who's completely new and you want to study the exam content from start to finish then please check out our free class at k21academy.com forward slash terraform02 and this free class will be covering a lot of topics like cloud and devops overview cloud automation tools terraform cloud formation ansible chef puppet infrastructure automation iac terraform for beginners what why and who should be learning terraform certification extending terraform with ansible chef puppet etc we'll be giving you a demo of vm deployment in aws cloud using terraform and the best part is we'll be covering a lot of job opportunities and how you can get better pay in your terraform job so all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash terraform02 click on book your free seat now select your event date when you're you're available moving ahead add your name your email address your phone number and click on yes proceed ahead now you'll be seeing this kind of link at the extreme right save this link Add it to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, take care and keep learning.